be orchid at growplants.org so as one of my viewers asked here i explain about this plant so it's herbaceous rhizome uh, yes it's orchid and also known as ophrys it's perennial disease it means that in the summer it will go to dormant and it can use for a cut flowers and for you grow it if you choose to grow it it's for the beautiful flowers it can grow from Mediterranean, subtropical, or temperate climate. Hardiness zone from 6 uh, to 10. If you like this plant, you have a link down. You can just uh, perch it. Uh, okay, so let's start. So first, I apologize for the pictures, and it's not really in the video. The flowers, as you can see, it uh, look like a female bee. The first time that I saw it, I didn't know that it's a female bee, I just saw a beautiful flower in the field. So, a little bit uh, background. I cannot grow it even if I want to. It's almost extinct uh, plant here. It's not allowed here to no one to grow it. But if you don't live uh, in a place that uh, it's grown natural, because this is a natural uh, variety, as you can see. Uh, you cannot see, but tr you should trust me here. Uh, so, you can grow it. It's very beautiful. Okay, so let's start. Uh, pollination will be uh, self-pollination and it's very important because a lot of people are afraid to buy seeds. So if you go buy from a good place, uh, it means that it's not really hard uh, to find the seeds because it can be also male bee or self-pollinated. The flowers are very small. Uh, it can be from half centimeter to four centimeters. So it means... Uh, 0.2 uh, to less than 2 inches. Flower color can be white, purple, green, yellow, or pink. Uh, the lips color, uh, I call it lips, I don't know, it just seems for me like lips. It uh, can be uh, black, purple, red, blue, pink, white, or orange, uh, also yellow, brown, or green. So many colors, so many uh, patterns. Pattern can be from uh, shapeless in dots, stripes. It's just beautiful flowers. Eh? You know, to describe the flower, it will be a waste of time. So let's talk about uh, the growing. This is the most important thing for here. You are actually listen to me. Uh, so the soil, it needs to be alkaline, calcareous uh, soil, well drained. Very, very important the drainage. And it will bloom in the, here it's actually bloom in the winter. Uh, to the early spring. Why? Because it's in humidity. Uh, not humidity, a moist soil and a little bit humidity also. Humidity we have all the year, but uh, moist soil, not really. Uh, except this, in the hotter climate, will bloom in uh, spring to the summer. So here it's winter to the early spring. So light condition will be full sun to full shade with a lot of light. It's very important. Uh, water will be small amount of water, don't over water, it might suffer. Slow growing, very very slow, especially if you start from seeds. Uh, if you buy bulbs, it always will be the best. Uh, it's grow from 10 to 50 centimeters, so it means 4 to 20 inch. Uh, except this, uh, as I said, the best way to start is uh, rhizomes. Uh, the seeds or just to buy a plant. Uh, if you want to grow it, uh, to plant it, actually, it will be from the spring to the autumn, depends on the climate. If you are in colder climate, spring to the summer, a uh, colder cl water climate will be from the autumn to the spring. And if you grow it in an uh, artificial condition, of course, you can do it all the year. Uh, be aware that it needs a certain uh, temperature in order to germinate. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe visit our website and like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask or you would like a video. Also, you can ask, uh, check for more video, follow us on Twitter, and of course, you have here a link to buy the plants that we talk about, and also down.